Hello everybody and welcome back to Magna Carta 2. Last video we defeated the werewolf boss and we were just heading on back to Abazet. Before we enter the city, however, I would like to play a little mini game that I'm not very good at, mind you, but I would like to try anyways. Over near the entrance to the city, there's this little rink, sort of. People are looking into it as if something is going on. And this game is called Whack a Fong. In this game, you run about with this hammer and catch as many fongs as you can within the time limit. Your prize will vary depending on your score. Would you like to give it a try for 300 Sid? We'll give it a shot. So, you can only use Argo playing this game, obviously, because he's the one that has the hammer. We make him swing his hammer and we hit as many fongs as possible before the time runs out. You have 40 seconds to score 20 points, I do believe. But this is not as easy as it looks. So you press A to swing your hammer and you're looking for little tiny fongs to hunt. So green ones are worth three points and brown ones are worth one, I do believe. And the problem with this is that the fongs sort of blend in. They look, um, you know, very, very similar to the grass and whatnot. So uh, this isn't the easiest thing in the world. But if you are fast enough, you should be able to accumulate enough points to win the top prize, which I do believe you need 20 points for, which we have done. 27 points is actually not bad, if I do say so myself. I was half expecting to fail the crap out of that, but I did fairly well. As soon as the fong started appearing, that is. If you talk to the guard, he will let you know how many points you need for the prizes. 15 points for a heal seed, and 20 points for the experience belt. However, you can only get one experience belt, so if you manage to get the belt and you get 20 points, the next time you'll only get a cure leaf. So, the reason that I recommend playing that game is because the experience belt will grant one of your party members plus 10% experience, which is huge as you can imagine if you were to keep it equipped all the time on a character that you're not using, or if you wanted to get the upper hand. Every single character can equip it, so you can swap it out on different characters so they all remain uh, fairly level with each other, they're all kind of the same level. And it's free, practically. 300 Sid for something like that is an amazing deal if you can get your hands on it. Everyone, good work today. Now go back to the barracks and get yourself some rest. What about you? I have something I need to discuss with Alex. I'll be over at General Headquarters. Okay, so Zephy will leave the party, which leaves us free to explore Obazet. Okay, so in Obazet now, we are going to be able to go and explore a little bit more. The first time we were here, the market was closed off. However, now we will be able to get access. So the quest marker is at the barracks, but you don't want to go there and rest quite yet despite what Zephy said. We're going to do a little bit of shopping and a little bit of collecting. Two of my favorite things. And we also have some new quests to pick up, so. Anytime you see a purple diamond on the map, that means that that is a common shop. And if you speak to the shopkeeper, you should be able to buy some commons. And again, we haven't really learned a lot about commons yet. Haven't really had the chance to use them. But just know that they are augments that we will be imbuing in our weapons at a later date. However, I probably wouldn't recommend buying any of them. At this point, you have a lot of money, but I would recommend saving those for buying new weapons. Just because a lot of... Commons can be picked up in treasure chests. You can use the soul extract ability 
and they're not terribly difficult to come by. We did get a crafting recipe to make a comment, the snow crystal, which was obtained after we defeated the werewolf king. And you can see that if you were to make this, you would get plus five stamina and plus five recovery. So that's a better common than most if you have the supplies to make it. But again, unless you're finding yourself in real need of something like that, I would save your money for now. In this square, there is a green exclamation point on the map, which means that we have a quest, and we'll take this now. We won't be able to finish this quest until quite a bit later, but you will want to accept this now, or else you'll miss the opportunity to do a sort of quest chain. Now this guy is asking us to protect his son, who went to Old Fox Canyon. And we've heard a little bit about Old Fox Canyon, but we haven't had the chance to go there yet, so just keep that in mind for when we do make our way over there. Now from here, I would like to go over to the Merchant's Guild. And here we can check out a couple of things. There's another common store that we could check out. There is also a weapon store, which is indicated by a little sword on the map. And this is where we will bu be buying our first updated weapons. So, the little thing you should know about weapons is that at a certain point, a lot of these weapons will disappear. Depending on how much progress you make in the story, uh, weapons do disappear at certain times and this can severely hinder you if you are trying to get the achievement for 100% of the weapons. So anytime you see new weapons at a store that you haven't seen before, I 100% recommend buying them just in case they're gone the next time you see them. And they not only sell weapons but they also sell accessories. So the flame sword, the flower bloom, and the holy rod are all weapons and then to boot they also each have their own accessory which i would also recommend buying because it's going to give you a great boost on their other stats by the time that you've done all your grinding you should have enough money to buy those weapons and if not i would recommend buying them before you make an advance uh, in the story again if you see a little ring icon on the map that means that you've come to an accessory store. And at these stores, of course, you can buy the accessories, a lot of the belts that we've uh, been seeing so far. And they sell a variety of different ones. However, again, unless you feel these belts are absolutely necessary, I would save your money. Money is always better spent on weapons and accessories and if you do have a belt that you really really want then you can always invest in that you can also sell your stuff if you want to of course but i like to keep my stuff for the most part okay so now that we've done our shopping we are going to head right into the merchant's headquarters and go turn in our quest and pick up this chest that's conveniently placed right beside the door. Get some of our money back. And if you speak to Schneider, he is going to give us our reward for rescuing the hostage that was tied up at the werewolf's hideout. So we need to sp uh, speak to Yi In, I guess her name is, and she'll give us our reward. Not only are we going to get a reward, but we're also going to get a common on top of it. So we get three commons, 500 experience, and 800 Sid, which is a very, very nice reward. Thank you very much. That pretty much ties up all of our active quests. And uh, we've done our little bit of shopping as well. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head up to the headquarters, which is where Zephy was going. And the only reason I'm coming here is to grab a chest. 
but you can see here that this is the training ground for the southern forces so this is where all the soldiers are probably recruited and trained and where the bigwigs have their meetings so it's a pretty big and important building but overall it's pretty darn empty all things considered i think that statue over there is a big statue of lord alex although you can't really make out the details so on the map, there's going to be a little tiny room kind of shoved in the corner here. And this is Alex's office. So we're gonna snoop around and take his treasure chest for a thousand sit. And that's pretty much it. That's the only reason I really wanted to come here was just to uh, grab that. You can take a look at some of the other rooms if you wish. I do believe the only room that you can go into besides Alex's room is the meeting room, which as you can see right now is pretty empty. I guess this is probably where they would plan all of their strategies for battle. Now Zephy is talking to Alex of course, so maybe that's why nobody's here with him being busy and all. So now we can leave and go back to the barracks. We've pretty much done everything that needs to be done in the city for the time being. So if you have anything else you'd like to do before heading over to the barracks, I'd recommend doing it now. Of course, if you've entered Abazet, uh, you can go back out and all the monsters on the field will respawn. So that may be a good opportunity for you to grind if you were still looking to do a little bit of extra grinding. Especially now that you have some new equipment, it may make grinding a little bit easier for you. But as for me, I think I'll just head on back to the barracks for now. I should also really check my cube mail. I have a really bad habit of not checking it because it's usually not very useful. However, we do get a couple of somewhat personal uh, messages. This one from Crocell, for example, telling us how he doesn't approve of us. You will get mail from your party members every now and again. And these are usually the only type of letters that I'm interested in, um, just because it's kind of nice to see the character development that happens in between your characters. So look out for those. They'll be marked with a dark blue mail icon. And then of course the rest of the stuff is just tutorial type things. And sometimes you get little history lessons as well. So you can spend a great deal of time reading in this game if you really feel like reading all of the mail. I'll try and keep my cube mail red so that the flashing mail icon doesn't show up all the time. Anyways, I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, next time we will rest at the barracks, have a good night's sleep, and uh, wake up and see what awaits us next time. So thank you for watching, and I hope that I will see you next time. <laughs>